SIP and PUF inputs are always available by default. The autonomy settings may be selected from the main page by selecting settings. Once open, you can see the always visible side panel containing commands and functions for calling the nurse, stopping inputs, and system volume. The switch scanning menu gives the option to enable and disable auto scan along with the ability to enable and disable audible scanning. The loop count is the number of times the scan will cycle through items on the screen before stopping. By increasing or decreasing the duration of the scan, the switch scanning may be fine-tuned for the individual user's needs. For example, we set the loop count to 3 and the duration to 2. The result when we go back to the main menu and select Scan is the left sidebar is selected, then the apps are selected three separate times with the menu area highlighted for two seconds each. This gives the user time to make a selection after visually scanning the screen. If the time frame is too short or too long, the settings may be changed appropriately. The audible scanning reads the screen selections to the user. When the left sidebar is highlighted during switch scanning, the computer says controls. When the app area is selected, the computer says main grid. The row numbers will be read when highlighted and the individual app's names will be read when highlighted. Please note, some features may change as our software is continuously being improved, developed, and deployed to your bedside autonomy unit so things may appear and act different over time.